How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released iOS 18. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you'll be able to install it right now for free, the official Apple method. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I have to tell you is this iOS 18 version that I'm about to teach you how you'll be able to install on your iPhone is a beta version, it's a test version. It's iOS 18 beta one, meaning you'll encounter bugs, app compatibility issues, and so on. So please keep that in mind because the official version will only be available in September. But don't worry, because if you wanna test out iOS 18, I'll have another video on the channel teaching you how to downgrade, how to come back to iOS 17 if for some reason you regret it. So then you'll be able to test it out, have some fun, and then come back to iOS 17 if you want to. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is actually open up Safari and go to this website, developer, right here, developer.apple.com. I'm gonna have it on the screen, link in the description as well. Then you're gonna tap on this menu at the top left corner and then account. So then you're naturally gonna need to sign in to your Apple ID. And what we're doing here, just so you understand, is we're signing in to Apple Developer, which for over a year now is completely free. Apple made it free to everybody. So then we'll be able to sign in and have access to beta versions for free, the official Apple way. So, so cool, okay? So go ahead here and type in your email and your password for your Apple ID. Then you can tap on the little arrow, let it load. If you have two-step verification, allow and type in the code, then trust the browser. As you can see, it's very fine and then we're good to go. And then if it's the first time you log in to the Apple developer program, you will see a page like that with an agreement. So all you have to do is actually scroll down, keep scrolling and then agree. And then that's literally it. As soon as you agree, then you will see a page like that and you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to join or anything. You just have to agree and then you're ready. Your Apple ID is signed in to the Apple developer program. So all you have to do later is restart your iPhone. You need to press the side button and volume up at the same time. So press and hold. So slide to power off and then wait for it to turn off. It takes a few seconds and this process is necessary. The restarting process is necessary. Otherwise, you won't see the developer beta on your settings. Okay, after a few seconds, you can go ahead and press your side button and hold it once again. So let the Apple logo reappear and then let your iPhone reboot. Then go ahead, swipe up and of course, put on your passcode and then you can go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down, general, and then software update, and then let it load once again. You'll see now beta updates. So if you weren't seeing before, now you'll be able to get them, tap on it once again, and then you already see iOS 18 developer beta alongside other public betas and previous developer betas as well. But what we need, of course, is the iOS 18 developer beta. Go ahead and back, let it load, and now we have iOS 18 and we're ready to go. But before you go ahead and move on, and I wanna stress this once again, this is a beta version. This is beta one of the developer beta. So then it's the first, first, first version, okay? The public beta will be more stable, and of course, the final version will be stable, but for now, it won't. So then, it's mandatory, super necessary, that you back up your iPhone right now in iOS 17 before you update. Because then, if you wanna come back, you don't lose anything, okay? So, I'm telling you now, all right? So, if you don't know how to back up your iPhone, go ahead and tap on this card, link in the description, and I'll teach you how to back up over iCloud or over your computer. It's up to you, but you need to back it up, all right? Now, after you have your backup, go ahead and tap on Update Now. Go ahead and enter your passcode once again, and then it's gonna go ahead and download and install iOS 18. It's probably gonna be a long update process just because it's pretty heavy. There are a ton of people downloading it on day one, day two, day three, and so on. So it could take a while, all right? 
I'll be back after that's done. And after a few minutes, your iPhone will automatically update. It'll verify and then it'll restart, turn off, turn back on. You'll see spinning wheels, Apple logos and progress bars. It's completely normal and all you have to do is wait don't do anything just wait this process will take a few minutes if you are a little bit low on battery go ahead and plug it in and do it while plugged in my battery is full now we wait a little bit more and so as you can see we're good to go all you have to do is swipe up let's go ahead and enter the passcode once again update is complete updated to ios 18.0 let's continue I'm gonna set up Apple Pay later. Continue once again, and then don't share, and then swipe up, and we're good to go. If you go ahead and tap, not now, let's tap on settings, and then scroll down, general, and then about. Let's go to about, as you can see, 18.0. We are on iOS 18. That's it guys, there's so much to talk about this software update, but for now, that's it. I just wanted to show you how you can install it on your iPhone on day one right now. So, thanks for watching, much more content to come, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys, bye bye.